What's up, anime fans? James Downton here, and welcome to another review. But this time, we'll be reviewing episode 89 of Yu Gi Oh! Brains. So, the conclusion between Windy versus Soulburner. And I just want to say before I start that yes, okay, it was unexpected to see the winner of this duel. I know in the last review, I did state that I didn't think Soulburner would win, but hey, it turns out he does. So it begs the question, who's going to be the one to snuff out most of the characters? So are we going to just going to have Bowman fighting everybody? Will a Gauntlet duel come into play? That will be pretty cool. We'll save episodes as well. But anyway, this episode in general. So this episode wasn't too bad. I wasn't 100% invested in this duel to begin with, but overall it was okay. I'm just saying okay because that's just how I personally feel about it. The whole exceed summoning at the end was average I suppose, I mean, when I watched this episode I did notice quite a few animation sort of bloopers slash things done lazily. And just seeing the Exceed Summoning, that was done nicely, but that's really the only highlight I can 100% say with certainty that, you know, what's good about the animation. I mean, Soulburner looked a bit different in this episode, which was slightly odd. That might have just been me though, but personally I did think he looked a bit different. Every time they went to an outshot of uh, Flame, he was always like a almost like a blob with a bit of red on. Yusaku, they didn't animate him very well at some stages. But overall, the duel, again, was okay. It was a duel basically more about who could keep their cool in the heated situation better. And after a bit of bad acting from Windy, which you were meant to be lulled into the fact thinking that he was going to win Soulburner, at that stage, but if I'm perfectly honest with you, the episode had only been on with it for like 7 or 10 minutes and if they ended it halfway through the episode, it would be a bit pointless. So you, you obviously knew, if you could think about it that way, you could tell that it wasn't going to end there. And anyway, we get a nice shot of the data storm coming and that's one thing I've got a bit of a gripe about. They always say a data storm gives you one random card. One random card from the data storm. So how come in pretty much every instant that one random card is a part of the character's deck archetype? Yusaku, he ran the Code Talkers. Every time he used the Storm Access he would get a Code Talker card. Windy in this one, Storm Rider, he gets those type of cards. Um, you know, if it's one random card from the data storm, why not send him a freaking water pond or something? <laughs> or a Karibo. I mean, they're pretty good at times, so, you know, Karibos. And that's the one gripe I've got about with data storms. But anyway, so yeah, the duel concludes and. It's revealed that the whole act of Soulburner and Flame being at odds with each other was just a ruse to basically make Windy drop his guard. Which, okay, there was a bit of thought put into that, but at the same time, was it really needed? And again, like I said, the result was unexpected, and I just feel like now is going to be just a bunch of, not pointless duels, but a bunch of duels that we're not going to be too invested in, where Bowman just goes around wrecking everybody. Or, I know, maybe they do something different, like Lightning beats Soulburner for revenge for Windy, but Lightning doesn't seem like the revenge type. It's just my opinion, obviously. But, like I said, the animation was lackluster in this episode. Um, the plot overall and the duel overall was okay. Um, personally speaking, I probably would probably give it a 5 out of 10. Um, and if you want to see 
a relatively decent link, uh, exceed summon, by all means, watch it. But personally, it wasn't one of my favourite duels to happen. It was just a meh duel, really. We were expecting to get quite a lot of backstory on Windy and his partner. And all we really got in the beginning, which was yes, last week's episode, was that Windy took him out and that was it. It wasn't really expanded upon, which is a bit disappointing. But oh well. So that's going to wrap it up for this review. Like I said, it was a very mediocre sort of episode. Um, and next week's episode is going to feature Bowman versus Blue Maiden and Aqua. Which I don't want Aoi to lose. But you know, she has to for plot convenience. So it becomes a bit too predictable now. Which again is the problem that we're going to have now that Windy lost and is out of the 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 dual tournament type of thing they're doing. But another interesting thing to note is that Windy did say he's gonna curse Flame when Flame absorbed his data. So who knows? Maybe at a certain time that might come back to haunt Flame when facing an opponent. It could do. Corrupt data. Like, they say that Ignises don't get cursed, but they can get corrupted. Who knows? But yeah, like I said, that's going to wrap it up for this review. Let me know what you thought of this episode down in the comments below. Like the video if you liked the video. Dislike the video if you didn't like the video. Subscribe if you're new, so you never miss a video from me. But until next time, guys, keep watching anime.